Have you ever seen a corner sliding pocket door? I'm going to show you how I designed this. Watch to the end to see how much it cost. I've been altering and extending private homes in the UK since 2009. I often use large areas of glass in my designs, but this isn't always appropriate. Sometimes a more subtle approach is all that's needed. I designed this house extension in 2019 and construction finished in 2022. The client wanted somewhere to sit and admire their garden at sunset, watch TV and feel the warmth from their fire. The design is conservative. The extension uses the same materials as the existing house and the new landscaped area is the main focus of the space. This new patio is really an outdoor room, facing west into the sunset, sheltered by the existing trees and enclosed by a balustrade made from Scottish larch. The access point between the extension and the patio is a major element of the design. This had to be special but also functional. The new extension isn't particularly large and the client needed as much wall space as possible for their TV and fire and they also wanted space to hang artwork. Lots of glass wasn't the answer. Corner sliding doors would give my client the ideal view of their garden and catch the sunset on summer evenings, but large glass doors would cause a problem. You can't mount a TV, a fire or a painting onto glass. I chose Sunflex because they have two products that together would solve all our problems, a sliding pocket door and a corner sliding door. They were able to adapt both their products into one corner sliding pocket door, a unique design for this project. A corner door with no visible means of support that slides into a pocket leaving the wall free to be used for other things. Perfect. Working with Sunflex and their approved distributor made this process easier. Other glazing companies sell direct to consumers with little or no technical backup. That might work if the product is straightforward, but it's not the way to make something new and innovative, like a corner sliding pocket door. Sunflex have technical expertise in-house, and the approved distributors have years of experience coordinating with builders to get the ideal result. The installers advised our builder on how to form the opening for the doors and how to create the pocket. The installers did all the measuring on site and Sunflex designed the frame and doors to fit perfectly. Of course, the corner doesn't have a post supporting it, so how does it stand up? The structural engineer and I designed these long steel beams with outriggers that hold up the roof on the corner. It's the architectural equivalent of, look, no hands. Having a pocket allows the door to disappear into the wall and that wall can then be used to house the TV and a recessed fire. The inner and outer face of the pockets have draft excluders to keep out the wind and the rain, and the bottom rail of the door frame is recessed down into the solid floor so the threshold is level with the tiles inside and the paving outside. That means the transition between inside and out is seamless. There is nothing to trip over, but it also means that water could run back into the building and flood it. To prevent that, I specified a channel just here. It's connected to the drainage pipes below the new patio. We also laid the paving with a slight fall running away from the house towards the garden. If you are thinking about creating something like this, keep in mind that the process has multiple steps. The opening needs to be designed to stand up without a post on the corner. Drainage must be designed to prevent flooding. The pocket needs to be built such that it won't be affected by wind and rain. The installation needs to be done by skilled and experienced specialists and the sliding doors need to be ultra durable because maintaining the frame and running gear inside the pocket is much harder than on a conventional patio door. If you want a corner sliding pocket door, contact your local Sunflex approved distributor. I've put a link in the description. You should also talk to an experienced architect who can coordinate the design and construction process for you. This corner sliding pocket door measures 3 meters tall and each side is 1.7 meters wide. To supply and install this in 2023 would cost around £11,700 plus VAT. My name is Neil and I am a real life architect in the UK. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, that really helps the channel. I regularly make videos about the reality of altering and extending private homes, as well as content about the construction industry and the architecture profession. If you like the sound of that, then subscribe to the channel to keep up to date.